Welcome back into Mining Stock Daily, everybody. I'm going to continue with another corporate update. Uh, there's a couple news items out of the Anapala project in Mexico from Heliostar Metals over the last couple of weeks that we uh, need to get an update with CEO Charles Funk. It includes uh, latest and I believe final rounds of drilling there uh, through the high grade panel uh, and Apollo, but also we have some metallurgical test work results done as well. Uh, first, Charles, welcome back to the podcast. Uh, how have the last couple of weeks been for you? I know we haven't, we didn't get a chance to really touch base through uh, the Precious Metals Summit or anything. So uh, how are the meetings? Yeah, good. Um, it's it's sort of a, um, what do you call it, a, a dubious honor to be one of the best gold stores <laughs> out there at the moment. Well, you're hanging in there. The good news is is that uh, the equity isn't uh, hitting a 52-week low like a lot of other uh, of your colleagues and peers are, unfortunately. You are hanging in there. and I think it has a lot to do with really the continued drill results out of Annapala. Uh, you released, it was the final, the final holes uh, that was really testing that high grade panel that we you and I continue to talk about the the, the headline hole was sixty three meters of ten and a half grams per ton gold there at the project there was also thirty about thirty six meters of eight grams per ton uh, and also fifty seven meters of six grams per ton i mean just a ton of you know it's a good problem to have to where you know these drill results don't necessarily surprise people anymore at Annapola. Is that fair to say? It's an incredible old body. You do get, you know, if we don't have a 500 gram meter headline, you're a little disappointed, and that's <laughs> not normal in in the world. Uh, so, give us a sense of, you know, the the what were these last drill results representing, and what were they testing here for the high grade panel? Yeah, so these last two results were through the middle of the high grade panel. They represent about 20 25 meter step outs on an earlier hole that we drilled. And they really give you the tight continuing information that gives the resource modelers the confidence to project the grade about the volume of the high grade panel. So they're very important for modeling. Um, interestingly enough for us, they did stretch it down deeper and it is open beneath those, those lower hits. Um, so you know, a reminder of the consistency, that's what's exceptional. You know, a lot of companies can hit a gold nugget and put out a nice result. Very few can drill hole after hole after hole over that 280 meter length and consistently get 50 to 60 meters at 10 to 15 grams. Yeah, uh, these were basically in parallel to that whole 291 that you drilled right through the panel and you and I talked about it. And so you get ones just uh, just above it and that another one just below it. Uh, nothing surprising here. I mean, I guess just because it's open below that whole 306, which reported that was, 83 meters of 8.6 grams per ton gold as below i mean do you have any reason to test even another you know just below that even in parallel oh absolutely so yeah just to be clear there's section holes there there's sections through the panel um yeah. yeah absolutely we think there's a number of holes um that we can add in um above and beyond this resource there's probably another couple of hundred thousand ounces that we'd be able to bring in with a subsequent drill program to follow up on these hits. Um, you've got to draw the line somewhere and deliver that first resource, which we're targeting in November. So these will be the last results that feed that resource update. But yeah, defer, I'm very confident that we could be one and a half to two million ounces at better than five grams with a follow-up drill program. If you look at the growth around the high grade panel and the parallel panel and the other growth targets, um, it's surprised us in the last sort of six to eight weeks how quickly we're growing Annapola. Um, mm. And a big function of that is a lot of the old drilling isn't that well oriented. It's from west to east, which made sense in the model that it was explored with. But most of the high grade ounces are controlled by east west zones. And so very few drill holes are from north to south or south to north. And when you boil it down, that's actually been the key to a lot of the ounce growth that we think we can put together in this resource update. Okay, uh, so no that that resource update is planned for November, but no other drill results until then, correct? Uh, we'll probably have our first um, parallel panel results in late October. So oh, okay. we've reached the end of the results that will make for the resource. Um, but you remember, fifty meters to the north, we found this new yep. zone. I think it could have another hundred to three hundred thousand ounces, and so that'll be the next set of results we bring out. Okay, but the resource is going to be strictly for the high grade panel here and what's been done. Correct. Yes. Yeah. 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 Okay. Very good. Uh, so let's talk. I, want, I do want to talk about th this resource. I, I'm 
talk to us about the anticipation for November about increased ounces and increased grade. I mean, what does you know what does the foundation of success look like for Heliostar at Anapala with this new resource? Yeah, so what we were looking at, just to, uh, it's as if you know the, the projects had an open pit history. So the current PFS resource is 1.4 million ounces at 2.2 grams per tonne gold. Mm -hmm. Within that, there's about 700,000 ounces at higher grade. Um, that is what we're targeting in the high grade panel. Of that 700, we think we can grow it um, into the order of around a million ounces. That's something better than five grams per tonne. Um, we've got to wait to do the work to show that. But that's what we think is possible as a target. Um, and then I think there's another, there's more to bring in, as we just talked about, beyond that. So mm -hmm. yeah, I'd be looking, you know, in that 900 to 1.1 million ounce range, it's something better than five grams in this resource update. And so that's going to support, you know, that by itself could support, say, an eight-year mine life. And then with these additional ounces that we know we can bring in with follow-up drilling, we can start to talk to 10 to 12 to 15-year mine lives. So we're starting to talk about a significant mine life at a very high grade. Um, pretty substantial improvement on the previous PFS model. Yeah, well, you can't talk mine life without talking actual recoveries of the material you're going after here. And that was the latest news uh, this morning, actually. Uh, I mean, this, I think it was the first kind of metallurgical test work recoveries results that we've received uh, out of Annapala. I average about just over 80% average gold recovery uh, from those composite representatives within that panel there. Uh, you know, obviously varied, but it, it, there was a couple of interesting, I mean, conventional in nature. However, uh, what you were looking at might actually bring down some of the costs in recovery that was originally applied to that, you know, the PFS that you pre previously mentioned. Yeah, so the history of the project, you know, probably arguably the biggest knock on the project is, oh, the network's been tough. Um, and that comes from the PFS on the open pit, where the previous operators, to make that low-grade halo economic to justify mining it, they had to take risks in the metallurgy, a, a technique mm -hmm. called atmospheric oxidation, to make that work. And we didn't like that approach. We thought it added undue technical risk, and it certainly adds a lot of OPEX cost. And so our approach, strip it back to basics. We were going to accept the lower recovery. We were modeling a 70% recovery on that vanilla gravity float CIL. And we knew that we could make a lot of money from our internal work on that. Ultimately, a PFS will dictate that and update a PFS. Sure. But internally, we saw a lot of potential. But we knew the door was open for an improvement to that because there hadn't been systematic work, particularly on those higher grade samples. And so we took our composites from within the, within the parallel panel, up plunge, down plunge, um, different rock types, but took the most representative material of that panel and did a whole series of work to see what it could look like. And broadly speaking, there's more coarse grain gold. So it behaves a lot better. And I think we've surprised ourselves. I was hoping it could get 80% plus. Um, and so that's what we've been able to return, that 80.4%. Um, that's a huge step change. It might actually be the most meaningful press release we've put out since we've owned Annapola. It mm. influences you know, the, the cutoff grade because you can mine lower grades more economically if you can recover the gold. Um, but more importantly, it's the same amount of money to mine, crush and extract gold from that rock. And if you get 10% more of it, um, that speaks straight to profitability. So to do that with a stock standard conventional approach is a pretty significant step change for the Annapola deposit. Yeah, uh, it's very interesting. You know, one of the things, and I, and I have a, a lot of respect for you and the team for putting this in there. You did have one outlier. <laughs> you called it the recovery was twenty eight percent, so not great. <laughs> uh, but you, 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 you pushed. I mean, this was very unique that you had. You, do, you don't really quite understand why that recovery was so low. Can you kind of maybe open this up? Because I'm, I'm, you've maybe have gotten some questions about just maybe where this composite was located within uh, within that that panel or what the, you know, what the matrix of that composite was made up and you know, what might be the reasons of such low recovery? Yeah, it's a good, so if you delve in and we probably lose everyone about the three metallurgists who are listening to the, <laughs> <laughs> the call right now. Um, <laughs> You know, when you have something that's a question on the deposit, my view and our preference as a team is to go full disclosure. Um, we're learning about it as well as everyone else. So, you, you know, I don't think there's any benefit to not presenting everything. And so 
we knew that there was the potential for better recoveries, but there was still a portion that you couldn't get out of the ore body. And so you explore a number of the classic pathways. Is it tied to the copper content? Is it tied to carbon that can steal the, the gold and the cyanide in the processing tank? And the short answer is we don't know what causes that sample to be poor. It's in the foot wall to the high grade panel. Um, it's materially lower grade than the other samples that we looked at, although we're not seeing a clear correlation with grade and recovery or with grime size and recovery. Mm -hmm. There is a population of the gold in this ore body that we don't yet understand. That may actually be a good opportunity. If we can solve it, we might be able to bring it in. Um, but nonetheless, forgetting what we don't know, what we do know is that we can recover 80% of the gold. So now there wasn't any real reason to not discuss it. Um, you're always learning about your ore bodies. Um, it's not a material part of the high-grade panel, and if we can get it right, there's probably a further win that we might be able to have. Yeah. All right, Charles. Uh, so I would assume you and I will probably be talking again another couple of weeks uh, when those new drill results from that new target uh, parallel structure uh, become available to the market. And then uh, November is going to be obviously very important with the resource update. Uh, so the fun doesn't stop at Anna Paula. I know it's really exciting. You're doing exactly what you aim to do. Uh, and, uh, you know, I look forward to hearing some more of the news. Uh, appreciate you and appreciate the team and all your hard work. Thank you very much. It's going very well. All right, everybody. That's your update from Heliostar. Again, trading on the venture with HSTR and on the OTCQX with HSTXF.